What's up, guys? It's Luca back here. Another fucking the 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 lit as a video. So today's video, I know the setting is a little different. I am on my bed. I am not feeling well. My schizophrenic medication is like freaking fucking with me, and like I'm getting used to it. So like all my brain cells, like I feel out of place today. It's a weird feeling. I can't even explain it. I felt like I was out of my body. For real, for real. If you want to keep watching this a YouTube video because you already know it's going to be a banger and it's going to be my 35 week update on the pregnancy. Just keep watching. I'm going to let you guys know a couple of facts that's been going on around here. Some symptoms that I've been getting and some cravings. So, if you want to know anything about that, just keep watching. And I love you guys. Alright guys, I decided to be laying down for this part because I just haven't really been feeling good today and I know I gotta do this video so yeah, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about my pregnancy and just an update like a 35 week update because I am 35 weeks almost there it's tired but I'm gonna tell you guys some of my symptoms that I've been like, that I've had so far. And this is like the end of my trimester. So this is the third trimester symptoms, 35 weeks. I'll be 36 weeks on Saturday. So I'm really 35 weeks in three days, but yeah. So let's get into it. So the symptoms that I've been having, the first symptom is like a wave of sleepiness. I've just like out of nowhere, I've like I've I've got a burst of energy and a burst of wave of sleepiness. And I let me explain that to you guys. So in the mornings I've been having energy. So I've been having energy. I've been able to do like my laundry, clean up a little bit. And I haven't been having that type of energy in a long time. But then later on in the day, I get this wave of sleepiness. Like out of nowhere, like my whole body shuts down and I have to take a nap. And it's crazy. Like I'm always up. Like, like I don't ever get waves of sleepiness, but I'm always like productive. But this pregnancy is just... No. The second thing I've been having is ligament pains. Now, they're like stretching pains right here and a lower part of your tummy. And they feel like it's just stretching. Like, it's painful, like sharp pains, but it's like stretch. And it hurts so bad. So you make sure you drink a lot of water. Those will go away within water, but you're still growing so it's like it's not gonna go away you know but yeah i've been having ligament pains just like everywhere just like everywhere this third thing that's been really hurting me are my feet now if i'm walking like at like an event I can't do more than like 10 15 minutes like I'm lazy for some reason but it's not even about being lazy it's just about like my feet be throbbing y'all to remember like I'm five six and I weigh like 119 120 I'm 153 154 so I gained a lot of weight, well, baby weight, but I gained a lot of weight, you know, and it's just hard on my feet. It's hard on my body. I'm not used to this much pain at all. But yeah, this weekend I'm supposed to go walking, so hopefully my feet don't hurt that bad. But once I'm hit 36 weeks, I'm going to be walking my ass off. The next symptom that I've been getting, and these are not everyday symptoms, they're just like symptoms that I realized that I've gotten in the third trimester and like this week, um, is dizziness. 
I've been getting dizziness and I've been also seeing like a lot of blue and black spots everywhere. But I think that has to do with me getting like pumping a lot of blood in my system. I don't know what it is. I gotta tell my doctor, but <sighs> yeah. Next thing are back aches, y'all. When I tell you my back is always hurting, it's always hurting. Always hurting. It's horrible. But yeah, my back be always freaking killing me. I gotta take like a Tylenol. And you know, you can only take a certain amount of Tylenol. And I'm sorry if I'm yawning a lot in this video. I'm just so tired. Like, I really didn't want to do this video, but I know I have to. <laughs> I gotta do it for you guys. Like, you guys are my priority as well. The next thing is always out of breath. I be feeling like that girl from Norbit. Uh, Patricia, Fat Patricia. Oh my god, like, I feel like I can't do anything. I cannot crouch down without losing breath, going down the stairs without losing breath. Going up the stairs, getting in and out the shower, like any little exercise that I do. And I feel like a lazy bitch because I know a lot of pregnant women, they're not lazy. Like they like to do exercise and shit. I can't. I fucking can't. I can't do it. I don't give a fuck. Call me lazy. But yeah, I'm always out of breath. Another thing, I've been getting so much discharge. And like, I'm already a wet person, so I already have discharge, you know. TMI, this is a pregnancy video, just saying. So I just been having a lot of more discharge and it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's getting more towards the end of the pregnancy where I'm getting like more so y'all first time moms make sure you guys get some panty liners towards the end of your pregnancy because girl and like I don't know if it's just me I don't know if it's just me but like that there's like a cheesy smell to it and I think that's just like the discharge around her coating I don't know I am a clean person Trust me, but there's a smell to the discharge and it's not bad. It's just different. I can't explain it. Don't come for me. I know people are going to be like, oh, bitch, you dirty. No, I think it's a pregnancy symptom. Let me know if I'm the only one. I need to know. Or if it's just my pH balance at all. Last symptom that I've been freaking having and it's the worst rib pain my right side oh my god that's where her feet are it gotta be this has gotta be where her booty's at and her head's like down here so her head her booty and her legs are probably over here and she is kicking my freaking ass every fucking day i know she bruised my ribs i'm 100 percent sure she bruised my ribs 100 um so those are the symptoms that I've been having for this 25, this, I keep saying 25, this 35 week mark. Um, clothes wise, no freaking clothes fit me. None. None. Nothing fits me anymore. So I be feeling like a bum walking around this beach. Like right now, I'm just be wearing dresses and like crop top, I mean crop tops, like uh, tank tops with like some shorts. But really like, I can't even go out and like look nice because I got nothing to fucking wear. Like thanks Aura, took my, my hot girl summer away. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't wait to be here. Can't wait. Some cravings that I've been having. The first thing are Takis with lime. So fire. 
but it's just too hot for me. Like when we were younger, I remember eating a full bag of Takis and now like I can't. And it's not just because of the heartburn and the pregnancy. Who else is like that? Like, do you not remember we would bring buy a fucking big bag of Takis? I remember me and my cousins would buy a big bag of Takis. And my aunt would always like just throw them out to us because she had uh, her kids plus me and my sisters. We were like seven kids. So she kids threw bags of clothes, bags of chips. But the next thing that I've been craving that I've loved so far was cucumbers and lime with tahine and boy let me tell you if you suffer with heartburn i wouldn't do it but if you have heartburn pills like i do fire fire they just get your stomach super full and like you feel a little bit uncomfortable trying to sleep because you have so much cucumber in you but I only eat one cucumber. It's still a lot. The next thing that I've been craving is mac and cheese. I've been eating mac and cheese a lot. Like with some processed fucking chicken nuggets or chicken tenders. When your boyfriend's watching someone's TikTok. And you could hear him watching somebody's TikToks. What are you watching? What were you watching? Um, and then I was going to show you guys some items that I bought for the baby. But I think I'm just going to save that for another video. I think I'm going to save that for like a nursery vlog, a uh, nursery video. I know you guys want to see the baby's room. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do another video. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the Lucas channel. Hit that bell button to get all the notifications so you don't miss out on my family videos. And just like this video. I love you guys. I do. Let's get to 5K. I mean, let's get to 6K. Can we get to 6K? I'll start buying balloons every time I hit a number. And we'll celebrate. I'll go on live. On TikTok Live. I'll make a YouTube video. I'm like, yes, we made it to 6K. And I'll do something for that video. But I'll start doing it for you guys. As long as you subscribe and give me 6K. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Mm -hmm.